Hi guys, my name is Pedro Pereira and I have been an event and portrait photographer for almost 10 years. Wow, that's a long time. But it seems really good and really confident now, but there was a time when I was just thinking about starting my photography business. And that's what this video is about. This video is about me almost 10 years ago thinking about wanting to become a professional photographer and thinking about how was I gonna get people to actually pay for my services or be able to afford uh, being a photographer. And, and in reality, I, I knew nothing about photography. I didn't know uh, I didn't know anything about the photography business. I had never even picked up a camera. Um, you know, I picked up a camera for the first time around that time. So this video might mirror what you might be going through. You might be thinking, hey, I'm thinking about starting my own photography business. How am I even gonna do this? Who's gonna support me? How am I gonna get my work out there? How are people even gonna hire me? Where do I even start? Is this even doable? Can I even do this? And the answer is yes, you can do it. As you see, there's a lot of photographers like myself who are doing photography for a living. And I actually wanted to be a photographer right from the start and I wanted to go in full time right from the start and that's exactly what I did and that's what this video was about how I even picked up a camera for the first time that's what this video was about so I'll start at the beginning around 10 years ago my nephew uh, we used to show each other a lot of videos on YouTube he show, uh, we used to show each other music videos car videos you name it we used to show each other on YouTube he shows me this video you know people that are into hooking up their cars and that type of stuff but the video was really nicely done and it was really uh, it really impressed me so I asked my nephew remember, remember at this time I had never even been into photography had never picked up a camera knew zilch about photographer I was just a regular person with a regular job uh, my nephew told me oh uncle Pedro you know those cameras that we see at Walmart you know Walmart used to have their little session of, of, uh, of DSLR cameras uh, you know that are probably not the best but they used to have you know the little DSLR cameras. so he tells me you know those cameras Uncle Pedro they did that with one of those cameras and I was like wow that is unbelievable the quality of that is just great so basically that's where like a little light bulb went off and I was like hmm now one thing that I had always done music and I a uh, light bulb went off and I said oh man I should buy one of those cameras to do a video like he had shown me I should buy one of those cameras uh, this is me thinking I should buy one of those cameras to do my own music videos right so that's the original spark that's the original idea so from that idea of thinking of buying the camera I start to think about buying this camera so that I can start shooting my own videos and that way I'll be able to save myself a little bit of money um, whenever we need to do videos. Uh, so I do my little research. I, I start to find out that a little bit about cameras and a little bit about quality. And I, originally my, my cousin, I'm sorry, my nephew had told me that those cameras at Walmart, uh, you know, were about three, four hundred dollars and about almost 10 years ago, I thought that was a lot of money for a camera. I'm like, wow, three, four hundred dollars for a camera. And little did I know when I did my little research, I figured out that that was really on the low end and a good camera really is. It was really around the thousand dollar range 10 years ago uh, for like a starter camera. Uh, something that was going to do a good job with a kit lens, but you know, to do a, a decent job. So that's what I did. I, I ended up doing my little research. I had to think about it a bunch of times before I even purchased this camera. Uh, Cause you know, even my wife and everybody, as I started uh, to do my research and I, and you guys know how it is. You start to tell people that you're thinking about doing this. You're thinking about doing that. And everybody goes, what do they say? Oh, here we go again. Here comes another thing. First it was the music, then it was you were gonna do this, then it was you were gonna do that, or oh, now you're gonna be a photographer. So as I started telling my, my family and relatives and my significant other, uh, they were kind of looking at me like I was a little crazy, um, you know, to be buying a camera, what was I gonna do with it? Um, and I started doing my research, I ended up uh, buying the camera, and then I realized that 
I knew nothing about editing. I didn't know anything about editing. I didn't have any editing software. I didn't even have a working computer at the time, y'all. This is uh, almost 10 years ago. And then I realized that this was gonna cost a lot more than the original 3400 my nephew had said. Now I was looking at uh, uh, Mac computers, which, you know, at the time they were a couple thousand dollars. That was just a ton of money to have this thousand dollar camera and a couple thousand dollars on a Mac. But that's what I landed on. That's what I figured after I was doing my research. I was like, hey, I gotta have the right tools to do the right job. So I ended up, again, really scraping, uh, putting stuff together. I think I might have even thrown the camera on my uh, Best Buy card or something. But I ended up buying a, a Canon T3i. Uh, if anybody's been in the business, uh, maybe 10 uh, years ago, or eight or 12, they, they remember the Canon's T3i's. So I ended up buying one of those for around a thousand dollars and I ended up getting a Mac computer for a couple thousand dollars. And that's when I started to really watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to edit, how to, uh, that's when I really started playing around with the camera, playing around with the settings, taking pictures of everything around you, around the house. Uh, you just taking pictures of everything, you know, you're figuring out, hey, why is my photos not looking like this? Why are my photos not looking like that? And I used to watch a lot of YouTube tutorials and I love watching YouTube tutorials of people that were real photographers on the field or currently photographers in the field. And that's what I am. I am a current photographer uh, on the scene. You know, I've been doing it for around 10 years. In life in general, guys, or in business, you gotta learn how to pivot. And my first pivot, as I started to buy this equipment, was thinking, or re remember, I originally thought I was buying the camera to do music videos for my band and for myself. So my first pivot was before I ever had any gigs, before I had ever done anything for anybody. I was just practicing and learning and thinking about the business and how I was gonna make this work. My first pivot was thinking, wait a minute, I'm a struggling artist myself. I don't have a lot of money to pay for music videos. So if I start doing music videos, you know, cause I was thinking I was gonna be able to do music videos for other artists and I was gonna be able to photograph and, and uh, do models. That's what I was thinking originally. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take care of, I'm gonna do all the models and I'm gonna just be dealing with artists and music videos. And that's when, again, my first pivot was, wait a minute, I'm a struggling artist myself. You know, that's why I'm even doing this. I don't have any money to pay for a well done music video. So, and I knew everybody around in the music scene in the, in the New England area, uh, especially in the Boston area. Again, there was not, there was a lot of people doing music, but again, it was a lot of people just the music scene. It, it's not what it is. It may be some other parts of the States. Um, but it's just, it, it wasn't some place where you were gonna make a ton of money off of artists, because a lot of artists were just up and coming, and they don't have the budget to pay for a, a, you know, a high price video. So that was my first pivot, y'all. My first pivot was before I even started doing music videos. This is when the light bulb went off, and I said, wait a minute, I am gonna do events. This is me telling my wife, when I first figured it out, you know, and, and, and I, I can feel you guys are probably in the same boat trying to tell your significant other, your wife, uh, your partners, your, uh, your, your, your siblings, you know, your mom and dad. And again, they're kind of like, oh my goodness, here we go again with something, some crazy idea. But I was telling my wife as a light bulb went off, I said, oh man, I'm going to do events. Now remind you, I've never done events. I've never been in a wedding myself. <laughs> I've never been even an invite to a wedding at this point. I was in my, I just turned around 30 years old, a little uh, something like that. And I had never even been to a wedding. Here I am telling my wife, I'm gonna photograph weddings. And then this is me thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna photograph weddings and I'm gonna photograph sweet 15s and I'm gonna photograph uh, baby showers and oh my goodness and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And that's when the light bulb went off and I pivoted and I started gearing my business right from the beginning to events, to event photography and portrait photography. And that is the best, best, best advice um, that I could give you and the best thing that ever happened to me. Because as soon as I, so uh, I decided to do events, weddings, quinceañeros, bar mitzvahs, uh, baby showers, even some corporate events and stuff like that. Um, you know, that's when you kind of broaden your, your market. 
I started photographing friends and families. You guys probably know how that goes. Getting better uh, before I ever took a paid gig. And that's how it got, that's how it all started. From there, I went to Vistaprint and I ordered some business cards. Never been in business, had never done any paid gigs. But again, at this point, I'm in YouTube. I'm watching videos like a maniac. I'm just learning everything about the camera. And at this point, I'm really loving it. You guys know how that feels. I'm really loving it. I'm really intrigued. And I couldn't believe that I wanted to be a photographer so bad. I wanted to be self-employed so bad. Um, so I ordered my business cards. I, I didn't know anything about building a website or anything like that. So I paid someone uh, to build a website for me. Uh, I came out with the business cards, with the website. And then what I started to do is that from friends and family, I started uh, opening up social medias. And then from there, I started doing a couple of photographs for a couple of friends that were popular on Facebook. And you guys know how that goes. Once I did a couple of nice photos uh, for a couple of people that were really popular on Facebook. And at that point, I wasn't getting paid in the beginning. You guys know how that is. But that lasted very short for me. That was very brief, uh, my not paid career. So I was smart enough to give the free photo shoots, the few that I did. I did them to people that were really popular and had a large following on Facebook. So once I did those pictures, I knew that once they put them up and they uh, and people saw them, it was going to be a trickle effect and people would contact me. And that's exactly what happened. And that's exactly how I went down. And in further videos, I will get into more details on how I, again, those strategies that I use, how I was able to grow, go into more details on everything, uh, things that I did uh, that were good and things that I did that were bad that can probably help you guys so that you can realize your potential and your dream of becoming a photographer. But that's basically, once I did that, I was up and running. I was a professional photographer. I was polishing my skills. I was getting better and better and better. And that is half, that's half the battle, y'all. Half the battle with being a professional photographer and being self-employed is half of it is you have to be one heck of a photographer, but that's only half. You don't even have to be the best photographer, but you have to be really good. And again, you know how we are, we're very, photographers are perfectionists, we, we love what we do, we're really passionate about what we do, but a lot of the times, photographers forget the other side of the business. And the other side of the business is marketing. It's marketing, it's sales. It's how to, uh, you know, how to get in front of customers, how to talk in front of customers, how to carry yourself in front of customers, how to price yourself, you know, how to believe in yourself. Those are all things that you must convey to your clients. Um, you know, uh, to be successful. It's just not taking a pretty photo. The people that take pretty photos, they won't last. The people that take pretty photos alone, they won't last. You know, they have to know marketing. You have to know how to talk to people, how to visualize, how to strategize, what's cost, what's everything. You need to know all of that stuff. Um, and that's what I learned. Um, and that's what I want to pass on to you guys, but not in this video, because this video is already kind of getting kind of long. And in other videos, I'm going to teach you guys how I went from where I just left you guys off to even a uh, bigger following and more customers and more paying customers and how I was able to afford uh, having a photo studio and buying more gear and what gear you should have and what gear I bought and what gear I had. That's in some future videos, y'all. But that is the story of how your boy Pedro Pereira got into the photography business. So what's your story? Does your story, is your story similar to mine? And most of the photographers I meet, they have a lot of things in common with me. They all used to either uh, be in a band, sing, uh, play an instrument, or they've done some sort of uh, 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 web design background. There's always like some artistic uh, bone or something artistically in there. So I'm wondering, what's your journey? What's your bones? Uh, where do you come from? You know, and how did uh, you know? Where did you come from um, before you got into photography? Won't you guys leave that in the comments, uh, please, guys? If you really enjoy this video, I have a ton more of knowledge. This is right here is dripping and oozing with knowledge. Everything and everything you guys need to know, whether it's learning how to use the camera gears, the settings, I can help you. 
to how to become a professional photographer, I can help you. How to be a pro talking to customers in marketing and selling, I can help you. But you guys have to help me by subscribing, hitting like, and making sure you share these videos and you comment on these videos so that your boy can get a little bit of recognition. So thank you guys for watching.